I start the video, um, I did want to go ahead and tell you guys what I got and um, just kind of letting you guys know because I know my last vlog I said I was going to show you guys and I'm excited to show you guys what I got but um, one of the biggest things I got was I got more breast milk storage bags because um, I'll explain a little bit later more in the video but I have oversupply so I'm definitely pumping a lot and I needed more breast milk storage bags and I'll show you guys my um, supply my frozen supply a little bit later in this video but I got more of those and then I did get Infamil um, liquid vitamin D supplement for breastfed infants um, I've heard this is going to be good for just to like supplement him with my his bottles so um, I'm going to start using this, but first I got to talk to the pediatrician about it. And then, um, the biggest thing that we got, or one of the biggest things, I have one more thing to show you guys, but I got the lollipop baby camera. We had, we needed a baby monitor, like the ones that actually show him and we can monitor him. Um, but we got the lollipop one. Sorry, I'm having like the hardest time open it, opening it. But this is the camera. This is the one that um, you pretty much just like you can hook it up and it like bends and everything and then it watches and you can um, watch and monitor on the cam on your phone. So really excited about that. We got it on Amazon. So um, that's one of the biggest things we got and I wanted to show you guys. Okay, so this is my current breast milk frozen supply so far. Um, this one I just pumped out right now, so I put it in it away. And then this is like a full bag of breast milk. Um, and then I have another frozen bag right here. So currently, that's my supply right now. And then on this side, we actually have like breast milk in bottles right there and some of the more the milk storage that we're getting ready to put in bottles um, to, to kind of like explain a little bit more in depth of why I'm pumping and the bottle feeding is just because I am having trouble latching. Um, I'm trying to see a lactation consultant probably tomorrow um, because I think tomorrow they have like consult consultations. So I'm going to see if I can talk to one of them tomorrow and kind of figure out about latching. Like, he's not terrible at latching, but it's kind of, like, bad in a way where it's just ir not irritating to me, but irritating to him. And it's harder. He just gets really, really sad or he just cries a lot. So I don't, I don't know how to, like, really explain it. I'm a first-time mom, so... Um, I don't know like the correct terms or words for everything, but I'm just having a hard time latching. So that's why I'm pumping a lot and bottle feeding him. Um, I know that's probably because of why he's having trouble nursing is because of the bottles. But to explain when I was in the hospital, um, we had to supplement him with donor milk um, just because I opted into it. So I just didn't want I didn't want him to not have donor milk or have breast milk because of the my diabetes and the way and the conditions that we were in. So that's why um, I had donor milk, and that's why at the hospital he was bottle fed with um, breast milk. So he was bottle fed from the beginning of when he when he was in the hospital, um, and then we just continued. And then I tried like breastfeeding him and nursing him and it i've always had like trouble latching i had to talk to lactation consultant when i was at the hospital um they were helping and i they said that he does have a good latch especially on my left side it's just my right side he's not doing that great um just because i have an inverted nipple um so i have to get a nipple shield to go ahead and try to nurse on my right side so i can go into detail about my actual problems with breastfeeding right now um or go in more detail about breastfeeding but right now that's just kind of to explain why i have such a high supply already and why i have bottles and all this stuff so and i again i can go into detail about how i'm pumping how i'm breastfeeding him and everything and then here was the other thing that i wanted to show you that we got 
Um, like I said, my boyfriend's <laughs> uncle sent us a really nice favor um, or a really nice gift for Kaysen. So we ended up getting the stuff that I showed you at first <laughs> and then also a changing table that we really needed because we were <laughs> using just the pad on our bed and it was really taking a toll on our backs. So we're really glad that we got this. Um, I do want to get storage boxes for the bottoms, that way I can go ahead and put more of his stuff here, just because it's getting a little crazy there, and, um, that way we can put more of his newborn clothes, or more clothes, or whatever we need to put there, um, but right now we just have the diapers, the heating, diaper pail, um, not diaper pail, the diaper wipes and then just extra stuff and then i still have the diaper caddy there and obviously because we're in our room right now we don't have a lot of space for me to put that there and diaper pail there and his bassinet and have everything all fit here so it will all look better in time when he's older we can transition him from the bassinet into his crib um and then move this back into his room and yeah so yeah, I wanted to show you guys all this, and I'm really excited Morning, about it. Yes, it is Sunday, October 20th. Um, right now, I, it's morning time. We're pretty much awake. Um, typically, I sleep on the weekends at night, and Cody is the one that takes care of baby. And that's kind of just the system we have right now, because Cody is working through Monday through Friday, and... I have to be the one to like wake up so he can sleep at night so we kind of just switch it off um but baby is sleeping right now and I had to change a few things so right now I have all that change from over there and now I'm trying to figure out his clothing situation and yeah it's been it, it's, it gets hectic when you have a newborn so I'm trying to clean up as much as I can and it was just so annoying in that little munchkin thing and at first it was nice but then it was getting annoying at night when we had to grab some stuff and yeah so now we moved it over there on the changing table so now that we have the changing table we can actually use it big day guys so we actually went through our first big box of diapers um, for the newborns so now I'm in here trying to open up another pack at least one more pack that way I can go ahead and put some for downstairs but he's still a newborn um, and then I just went through that box and realized that it was all size twos and those were like extra diapers that my friends gave it to us but they're all size two so um, I'm gonna have to open one of these new packs so here we go. I fed him. I pumped for 20 minutes and got a pretty good amount. My right side is definitely the slacker boob, but my left side is the overachiever. So uh, he is living his best life, isn't he? To say that if you are breastfeeding um, or like pumping or anything and being hydrated, it's like the number one thing with also like increasing your milk supply. Um, so. I had this during my pregnancy because I needed to drink a lot of water anyways and stay hydrated. Um, so this is what I drink most of my water from. I do have another bottle somewhere um, that it's like a pink bottle that I just fill up my waters. Um, but this one helps a lot because it shows everything as far as how much water I am drinking. Hi guys, so really quick, I just wanted to show you guys this part as far as my somewhat morning routine. Um, this morning I actually woke up at a decent time. I had a feed case in, but then I Cody just went to work, so I just grabbed his laundry and put his laundry in the wash. Um, as you guys can see or tell that we got a new washer and dryer, so um, definitely happy about that. But then I also was cleaning his bottles, uh, mainly because I am bottle feeding him, but I am breastfeeding him as well. But 
Um, like I told you guys, I'm leaning more towards the bottle feeding, but he's still taking my breast milk. So either way, um, he's taking my breast milk. So that's why I'm bottle feeding him and also because he takes the bottle better. Um, but lately he's been better with latching. So I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, but just because he hasn't grown that much, I am also showing you guys that I am, I am bottle feeding him. Um, so yeah. I did also want to show you guys how I, after I finish pumping or if I have extra letdown milk that I put in my haka into one of the bags. So um, this time I did go ahead and put away the ones that I got from my haka and put it in the freezer. So I put that up and then I had trouble putting it in with one hand. So obviously I had to cut the clip right here and do it again. Um, but then I got it all together, but laying it flat makes it so much more satisfying. So I just wanted to say that when I, if you are exclusively pumping or pumping and breastfeeding. And at this point, I am going ahead and fill up my water and then taking, drinking my one cup of water. And then as you guys can see, Champ is in a new location. Unfortunately, we can't keep him in our room just because he is pretty loud. Um, and he also hasn't gotten a chance to really learn how to stay sane with our baby. Bassinet was back up. Um, as you guys can see, he does really good in the bassinet so far. So he, we really are appreciative that he does like the bassinet. It's just that sometimes he, at night, he does get a little bit more fussier. So, but he still sleeps in there. So, yeah. And then I was getting ready for the morning. So I am go ahead and take a shower here. Not take a shower. I'm not obviously not taking a shower and showing you guys, but getting my stuff ready for my shower and then heating up the actual water. Um, I didn't heat up the water at this point because I actually had to go to the bathroom before I did. Um, so I just show you guys that I am putting my towels up here and we have Kason's towels up here now. Uh, Sorry guys. So I actually was feeding it was actually Tayson's feeding time so to finish this off um I did also want to say that besides the lollipop um baby monitor we have we do have a voice baby monitor that we got from a baby shower that you guys saw um so I, we do use this if we're not watching him on the camera and that way when I take a shower I can still use this and still listen in in case he's crying or anything like that so that's why we have this in the back Morning guys, um, I'm definitely more put together right now and I definitely have clothes so this is a new new thing. Um, I am two weeks postpartum so definitely feeling a lot better today but um, I still have like little pains in my c-section area um, so I'm just kind of like trying to relax but as you guys saw I just went to Once Upon a Child and bought him quite a few different things. Um, so probably to end this vlog, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the baby boy haul, um, just because I did get him a lot. Hold on. But before I do that, I'm gonna eat because it's 10, about to be 11, and I haven't had breakfast. That's kind of just how it's been as far as new mom life is going. I don't really eat. I eat maybe like twice a day, um, which is bad because with my diabetes and stuff, I'm trying to manage it more, but I'm also trying to get in a schedule here, but it's definitely been hard. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna eat. My mom bought me Wendy's um, and I'm gonna eat that. I got a salad because I'm just trying to be healthy. Um, but yeah, 
so I will show you guys that haul right now. Um, it's also National Make a Dog's Day, so say hi, champ. Hi, baby. Yeah, it's National Make a Dog's Day, um, so for all you dog lovers out there looking to get a dog, it's definitely a good day. Or not a good day, but every day is a good day, but basically... Um, you can definitely make a dog's day today if you go ahead and adopt, which I highly, 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 um, root for, or I don't, I don't know how, what the word is I'm looking for, but I highly suggest doing it because honestly, um, before I had Kaysen, I was a fur mom and I had two dogs, or I do have two dogs, I have Champ and Callie, and Callie's at, Callie's my golden retriever that's at my mom's house that she's taking care of. Um, and they've honestly been a blessing in my life and they definitely help with, I believe honestly helps with anxiety and helps with mental health and everything. So I highly suggest adopting a dog. I think every dog deserves a home. So happy National Dogs Day. Boy is also sleeping and in his, one, his Halloween onesie. Um, so he's just chilling and hanging out. And he actually slept the whole time that we were at Let's punch out. So he did really good, but we're home now. Um, so I'm trying to not really take him out or anything like that, but we're just been home. All right. So I said I know. I don't know what I'm saying. I know I said that I was going to show you guys the haul at the end, but I figured because I got a whole bunch of clothes um, and make a separate video again on the clothes that I got. Especially, I guess I'll kind of do like a Once Upon a Child um, tote haul kind of series thing. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe you guys will like that um, or people will like that if I create like a series of Once Upon a Child's Tote Tuesday series. Um, I think at least my Once Upon a Child, it doesn't do Tote Tuesdays all the time, but usually you have to like look online on like their Facebook page or like their pages just to see if they're doing tote bag Tuesdays. Uh, mine does it every other Tuesday. So when I found out it was doing today on October 22nd, um, I told my mom and my mom and I decided we were gonna go. So that's why we were able to go today. Um, and so I got a lot of things, but I think it's a good deal. Like I said, that I spent, we got $99 out of all of it and only spent 24 bucks on it. So yeah, expect that video eventually soon. Um, it might be before this one or it might be after, but either way, I will have a video up because I'm still trying to be consistent. Um, and yeah, because I'm trying to edit my this vlog right now, um, especially because I'm on postpartum and I am on maternity leave still. So I'm still trying to really be consistent as much as I can. But yeah, that's really all I'm going to do today is I'm probably going to go ahead and edit this vlog. And then I'm probably going to record the Once Upon a Child haul video. Um, if you guys do want to see more of that series or more of videos like that where I do end up going to Once Upon a Child and doing Tote Tuesdays, um, definitely let me know. Either way, I might just do it because it's fun to do, like boy, baby boy, baby boy hauls. Um, especially before him, he is such an angel, so... I love spending my money on him for some reason. It's more so I like spending on him than I do on me, even though I need more fall clothes um, or need, need new clothes in general. But oh well. But thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Um, probably my next week's haul, next week's vlog. Uh, this week is pretty much just a my two weeks postpartum vlog um and yeah so i will see you guys then and thank you guys for watching and me and kaysen are out so bye